In this module, I'm going to talk about some optimization technique in uh, statistics, mainly relevant to the maximum likelihood estimations or you know EM, MCEM uh, implementations uh, in uh, statistical computation, where you know I'll use uh, one inbuilt function that optim, how to use that inbuilt function and how to uh, you know get the arguments of that functions ready to pass through the functions to get the estimates and also you know uh, the two other methods one is the uh, neutron reduction uh, univariate neutron reduction methods and multivariate neutron reduction methods both will see you know how to code the data you know we don't have uh, ready made code available so we'll you know develop our own code based on uh, two examples that I'm going to use, one for univariate and one for multivariate. In this module, we'll mainly talk about the optimization technique in uh, R. So main focus on uh, the neutron reduction method, univariate and multivariate neutron reduction method that is uh, very, very useful even for you know uh, many statistical computations when uh, especially the, uh, the EM algorithm, uh, I mean, uh, maximum likelihood estimations where uh, the metropolis Hastings algorithms uh, we use for uh, estimating the parameters. So the, the maximum likelihood estimations, you know, uh, we'll start with the maximum likelihood estimations to recall what it is. Uh, the, uh, the log likelihood function is declared uh, as an R function in R functions uh, take at least two arguments the first they require a vector of parameters and second that require at least one data object and note that the other arguments can be added to this if they are necessary the data object is a generic you know placeholder for data and after the arguments are declared the actual log likelihood is expressed in terms of a R function. Thus, we have the following syntax. So this way you can develop a likelihood function. So uh, normally that's the way we do, but if you need further parameters, you, you can you know include uh, as a, another uh, few arguments uh, that you might need. Or you know if you, if you want to use some inbuilt uh, function in uh, this, so you can include the triple dot uh, arguments there and the triple dot argument will help you to get the arguments for the nested function. So here the this is the parameter, this is the object and this is the declarations and this is the log likelihood functions be calculated and then minus log likelihood will be returned. Here the name is the name of the log likelihood function, parse, pair, parse is the name of the parameter vector and the object is the name of the generic data object. So object is the data object. The instructions placed between brackets define the log likelihood functions where uh, I mean there uh, should be two elements. Uh, uh, one is the declaration of the log likelihood and then return of the negative uh, one time the log likelihood. So negative log likelihood be returned. Let's start with an uh, Poisson example, so Poisson log likelihood. Uh, consider the Poisson log likelihood functions which is given by L sum over i yi log mu minus n mu minus sum over i log yi factorial. Since the last term does not include the parameter mu, it can be safely ignored. Thus, the kernel of the log likelihood function is L equals to sum over i y i log mu minus n mu. We can perform this function using the following syntax. Say library uh, k n i tier, then uh, uh, the spoiso dot link equals to function mu is the parameter, y is the data, and then n equals to number of rows of y log l is sum of y into log mu minus n into mu and return minus log l. So this will give you the uh, log likelihood value, negative log likelihood value. And then optimizing the log likelihood. Once the log likelihood function has been declared, then the optim uh, command can be evoked. The minimum specification of this command is optim, then you know string value, 
then uh, log minus uh, log likelihood and data these specification cause art to use the you know nailed and mill algorithm 1965 the methods equals to bfgs if you mention is the quasi newton method also known as variable metric algorithm specifically that published you know simultaneously in 1970s by you know broiden fletcher golf farb and you know shano for further uh, methods she the our help of optim law so here is the uh, simple linear regression that i am doing uh, say x equals to c by n c r unif 100 and theta equals to 2 you know 2 3 and 1 to theta value and then y equals to say x matrix multiplication theta dot true 1 to 2 plus r norm uh, 100 so the log likelihood function can be defined as ols dot lf is function theta y comma x and n is n row k is the n column of x then beta equals to theta 1 to k and sigma 2 equals to theta k plus 1 and e equals to y minus x mat x prime beta so that is the x we have matrix multiplication of beta uh, x beta y minus x beta that uh, error error term and then log likelihood is the minus 0.5 in into uh, log 2 pi minus 5 into n into log sigma 2 minus you know trace of e i mean e prime uh, e uh, is actually that i into do e, uh, e prime e divided by 2 into sigma 2 and the return value is minus log l1 that will give you the uh, log likelihood for the Uh, simple linear regression i mean that's easy you can uh, try it and then that give the initial value as 1 1 1 then pass the ols dot lf method is say bfgs and hazy and true y equals to y x equals to x and that will give you the estimate the return values are the dot pair this shows the mle of the parameters value this shows the value of log likelihood function at the mles count a vector that reports the number of calls to the log likelihood functions and the gradient and convergence a value of 0 indicates normal convergence if you see a 1 reported that means that the iteration limit was exceeded this limit set to 10000 by default message any message is there and uh, hazian you know if hazian true it will give you the hazian matrix so here is the result say you know the y solve p hazian uh, and then standard error is actually the square root of diagonal of y and uh, to get the standard standard error and t equals to p dollar pair by se and then p value is 2 into 1 minus pt abs t in uh, rows x minus n column x so that is uh, t distributions uh, i use pt pt is a uh, uh, probability i mean cdf of t and the results uh, define the p pair and then ac and t then p well and column names say results c b standard error t and p row name results are say constant x1 and sigma 2 and then print the result with uh, digit 3 then it will be printed like this and then you will see this this beta this is the estimated beta that we assume this is the standard error this is the t statistics and this is a these are the corresponding p values of the uh, parameter next we'll move to newton raphson method as i told that we we'll mainly focus on the newton raphson method and how to construct the uh, different steps of uh, newton raphson methods you know with uh, some examples i illustrate here so i'm going to develop a function for newton raphson method by passing the following components the data on which mle will be applied the first the derivatives of the log likelihood the second derivatives of the log likelihood and initial value of the estimate the function will return at each iteration uh, parameter estimates and value of score function see in the function that i am defining here see data dll that is the first derivative d2ll second derivative initial value then eps uh, the accuracy 
uh, of the parameter that is required while you uh, do the iteration i mean that is the condition by which the iteration will be stopped and then maximum iteration i assign as 20. So theta equals to init, out equals to matrix, uh, assign a matrix, and then you know if uh, I just use a, uh, if you just see uh, this, use this uh, particular uh, loop, while loop, while continue, uh, and this continue, and then what I'm here, this is the neutron adaption uh, methods that I'm constructing here. So theta old equals to theta, then theta equals to theta minus. Uh, DLT by D2L theta uh, comma data. So this is the functions of univariate. Uh, uh, this is the expression of univariate Newton Raphson methods. Uh, you can go through any books uh, for this expression, and that will give you the theta update, and then we'll update that theta. Okay, and then we'll see here in this stage. Uh, this is the actual outer eye that we are updating the theta. And then uh, we'll see the absolute value uh, between the current theta and previous theta. If that greater than EPS, then the uh, it will uh, the whole while loop will terminate. Otherwise, it will continue. So if i is max theta, I mean if, if that means if uh, it reached 20, is the uh, warning will come that maximum number of iteration reached and return out. And once it's reached 20, it will stop the loop and then uh, give the iteration value at 20th uh, I mean estimate value at 20th iteration so I am implementing here with a gamma distribution so let's consider the one parameter gamma distribution as 1 by gamma x to the power alpha minus 1 e to the power minus x and the first derivative dl alpha is minus n i alpha plus sum over i log x i and then define the uh, dl gamma uh, dl gamma can be calculated by function of ky then in length then n into di gamma k minus uh, mean of log x the second function the second uh, derivative is d2l alpha 2 that is uh, the d2l gamma is ky in n equals to length of x then minus 1 into n into tri gamma x these functions you know just uh, get the help of these functions will tell you what uh, i'm calculating here d di gamma and tri gamma will help you now example with boeing 720 data Say AR9 is the variable AC 482, 1800, 798, 585, 91, 43, 233, and 130. So mu hat equals to mean of AR9 and k iteration is Newton, then Newton Raphson passing is AR9, then the first derivative of DL gamma and second derivative DL gamma 2 and 1. So now k dot i eaters. Uh, is showing like this this is the iteration and k dot hat equals to actually rv k dot iter one one so that means the c mu dot hat is 100.9 0 point and k hat k dot hat is minus 2.00 Now we will implement the multivariate Newton Raphson method. A logic model would be implemented here. Let's consider the logistic regression model as logic probability of y equals to 1 given xi beta that is equals to xi uh, beta equals to mu and pi is actually p xi b that is e to the power xi prime beta by 1 plus e to the power xi prime beta that you know. And the score function can be derived in this form L prime beta equals to x prime y minus mu. And the second derivative or Hessian matrix can be uh, derived as uh, L double prime beta equals to minus x prime w x. Where Newton Raphson iteration steps is then beta n plus 1 equals to beta n plus x prime w x inverse x prime w uh, x prime y minus mu. And W is actually diagonal of P1 into 1 minus P1 dot dot, dot Pn into 1 minus Pn and mu equals to Pi n by 1. So let's define uh, a R function for score 
that return a vector uh, that is f in f that is a score function that beta y and x and as per the formula I developed this code p equals to this and return p is equal to x prime y minus p and let's define a r function for Hessian matrix that return a matrix that Hessian matrix expression already I have calculated and shown the previous slide so that has been implemented here just go through this you can understand what exactly I have implemented here and so these two functions actually one will return the score another will return the Hessian matrix now we'll apply the uh, neutral reaction multivariate uh, um, construct the multivariate neutral reaction methods again you know it is y x then first derivative second derivative initial value and eps and theta equals to say unit and here is the while loop that i am telling the maximum of diff is greater than eps if the maximum of diff greater than eps maximum among the diff the diff is actually the difference between current and previous uh, theta updates and here is the theta i am taking as the current theta current theta current state as the uh, value of the theta and then uh, the first derivative the second derivative and then theta update is by this formula say theta plus solve minus d d 2 l uh, prime uh, i mean uh, matrix multiplication and then second derivative the score from uh, score vector this is the uh, uh, negative hessian matrix and this is the score uh, vector and multiplied that will give you the updated theta and then we'll see the uh, calculate the difference between uh, current state and the previous state and if the differ maximum uh, greater than eps it will uh, i mean um, continue if it's less than equals to eps it that our algorithm will stop and then finally we'll return the theta equals to theta standard error equals to ac let's simulate a data say x1 is r normal and y2 equal x2 equals to exponential that is log normal and then eta equals to say you know minus 3 plus 0 0.67 into x1 plus 0 0.098 into x2 this is the true values of beta and then p is equals to minus p logis eta y equals to r binom in 1000 size equals to 1 prop equals to p that is derived here and x the design matrix is then c bind c x1 x2 then we'll use our uh, Newton Raphson uh, uh, methods uh, function and then this axy the, all the initial values are this eps is 1 due to the power minus 16 and that will give you the actual true value almost very close I mean very close to the uh, true value and the standard error estimates so I mean that's all about the neutron eruption methods and also the uh, optimization techniques that are very much required it's not the whole optimization techniques it's a very selected optimization techniques that are very appropriate uh, or relevant to the you know Markov chain Monte Carlo methods or you know maximum likelihood estimation so in this module we have learned you know how to optimize uh, any likelihood or you know in maximum likelihood estimation through optim function by different methods available in the optim functions uh, passing through the likelihood log likelihood function in op, uh, as an argument of optim functions and then you know uh, get a concept of uh, neutron eruption methods and uh, univariate and multi both univariate and multivariate in the context of maximum likelihood estimations how to develop the neutron eruption methods code and different you know algorithm that is required to develop the codes that all we have learned and implemented based on uh, two different data sets hope that is will clear you know how the neutron eruption methods or some this kind of optimization technique can be implemented for any kind of problem